Uh, hello. Uh, so I'm going to discuss the different types of research. Uh, often researchers are confused with the uh, types of research. So we will look on the different types of research and uh, detailing the different types of research. And uh, so the outcome will be will be get an idea about what kind of research would be suitable for a particular situation. So the first one is theoretical research or fundamental research. So uh, actually this research aims at verify the old theory or formulate a new theory. It's purely based on theoretical research. There are a lot of theories available. So just the theoreticians uh, actually verify the current theory. Uh, uh, and sometimes uh, they may formulate new theory based on the uh, problems uh, if there is any problems or lack loss of the existing theory, they may revise the theory. So the purpose is to improve all theories or revise all theories. Okay. So the outcome of this theoretical research is to improve, uh, is for the improvement of the existing theories uh, or revision of the old theories. So there are examples like uh, examples in the social sense. We uh, improvement of the old theories okay so next is applied research it aims to find a solution to the uh, problem faced by the society uh, and industry okay so, so uh, there are problems faced by the society and industry so this applied research uh, is aim, uh, aiming at to find a solution to the problem faced by the society hence the result is applied to practical situations so, for example, measurement of poverty, employment, rural development, etc. So, uh, these examples, you know that uh, the poverty can be examined, employment and unemployment can be examined, and rural development can be examined through this applied research. So, sometimes the applied research is quite useful for, for the industry as well as society. Then the descriptive research. So these, uh, I would say that the research and academic research are more focused on this descriptive research. It aims to describe the state of affairs that exist. Uh, already the existing phenomenon is going to examine. So maj majority, uh, the descriptive research are do with the service and they do these comparative and correlational methods uh, in analytics. Uh, to find a uh, find insights of descriptive researchers. So, for instance, uh, how does X vary with Y? So, uh, there is X factor and Y factor. So, when X varies, what will be the impact on Y? So, that's the uh, basic aspect of the descriptive research. For example, how does education vary with the age and gender? So, if you say if you say an example that uh, of descriptive research, how does education vary with age and gender? So, if the education increases, education may be vary with the age and gender. So, uh, that kind of uh, studies are conducted through descriptive researchers. So remember, these kind of researchers do with the surveys, and uh, there are statistical techniques like comparative and correlational methods is used in descriptive researchers. Then explanatory research, it aims to establish cause and effect relationships. So as compared to descriptive, it, it established the cause and is quite advanced uh, as compared to the descriptive form of research. This research is termed as explanatory because if we check the cause and effect relationship, if we use the regression methods, so the, the method, uh, we can say that it's explanatory rather than descriptive. So researchers use facts and information already available to evaluate the information. Again, the survey method uh, may be useful uh, for this explanatory research. For instance, whether the increase in agricultural productivity is explained by improved rural roads. So this is a cause and effect relationship, you know. The agricultural productivity was happened due to the uh, improved uh, rural roads. So this cause and effect, so, uh, this agricultural productivity is the effect 
uh, and the cause may be the improved rural roads. This cause and effect relationship can be examined through explanatory research. So, uh, so that you know, uh, multiple regression models, structural regression models are suitable for this kind of research. Then the next is quantitative research. The name states that investigation of quantitative properties. So the main objective is to develop mathematical models. These uh, outcome models, mathematical models will be suitable for various purposes. In practical scenarios, we can impart different quantities and we'll uh, get uh, answers for this. So uh, usually these quantitative research are adopting a deductive approach. That means they are started with the theories and they develop a hypothesis and they collect uh, data and the data would be analyzed uh, and after that uh, we can understand that the theory is uh, still uh, correct or something uh, if it is uh, against the theory so the kind of knowledge we will get after quantitative research so the formal hypothesis testing is must in quantitative research the next is qualitative research so it's, this quantitative, qualitative research is different from the quantitative research. Qualitative research examining a phenomenon like social reality. So uh, as compared to quantitative research, qualitative research samples are less. Uh, and case study is a method of qualitative research. And the contextualization is important. Different context, different results may be the outcome. So there is no separation of cause and effects. So that's the situation of qualitative research. We cannot separate the cause and effect like quantitative research in, in qualitative research. Another method is conceptual research. So it's purely related to theory, theories and abstract like uh, theoretical research or fundamental research. So the philosophers and thinkers develop new concepts and reinterpret the existing theories here. So the development of uh, new concepts or uh, uh, there is a reinterpretation of the existing theories uh, will be the outcome of uh, conceptual research. Sorry. The next is empirical research here, you know, uh, the data uh, situation uh, uh, research context is empirically tested. Uh, the validated and verified is purely data based if we need to collect data and uh, the data will be analyzed and tested and uh, it is known as empirical research so the exploratory research is is entirely different research it aims at developing a hypothesis rather than testing an existing hypothesis so this method follows the uh, inductive approach here the lack of theories or there is lack of contextualization, lack of theoretical underpinnings. So that we need understanding, we need to develop new theories. So we are in scratch and we set a tentative hypothesis based on the pattern or observation and after that the data will be collected and uh, uh, data will be analyzed and we will get new theories. We will get an evolution of theories. Uh, uh, in exploratory research. So the aim of uh, developing a new theory for a situation where the gap of uh, theoretical understanding. So that is exploratory research. So another research, historical research here uses some existing documents to study the past events. So sometimes when we need to cross examine, cross check the past events, uh, whether the information about the past events are correct or not. So based on the existing documents or existing information available, we dig into the past events and uh, finally we understand that the, the information about the past events are correct or not. So the, the next is experimental research. It aims to identify the causal factors employing experiments. So what are the causal factors? Uh, 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 in a particular uh, topic or in a particular situation can be identified by employing experiments. So the researcher conduct a lot of experiments and through these experiments researcher can be able to understand the causal factors 
the factors which lead uh, for a particular situation so which are the factors lead for a particular situation so that is the outcome of experimental research the next is evaluate research here a cost effectiveness of a program so the cost and benefits of a particular program can be checked for example the government introduces a program so after five or six years we can be able to check the the pros and cons of the program or successful of uh, successfulness of the program so whether the program is a success or whether the program is a failure so that kind of uh, that sort of information we will get through evaluative research so you know that there are a lot of programs are announced by the government so the researchers can conduct an evaluative research based on the programs uh, conducted and whether the program is a success and the beneficiaries are getting benefits or the beneficiaries are not getting proper benefits etc so that's the advantage of evaluative research so so these are the various types of research thank you